Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. And this is the Spit Pulsar 27E. So this is a nailer specifically aimed at electricians. I watched the review on eFix. Um, you can check that out in the description above or in the link below. Um, I was quite intrigued by it. I had a chat with Gordon when he was on site uh, when we were doing the Live Tech battery video with EV Nick. Again, check out the links. And I told him about uh, some specific um, projects that I was working on and he recommended this. So I thought, let's give it a try. We purchased it off uh, FFX. Um, it was on offer at the time. Uh, I purchased some extra fixings as well. So this is the uh, starter kit, which has a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of accessories, uh, some extra gas and the battery charger and everything. But you can get the body only if you have already got a bunch of Spit Pulsar batteries and battery chargers and accessories. So this is a brand new nailer. Uh, I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find a single unboxing video. So as I started to cut this, I thought, ah, I'll do an unboxing. So we'll unbox it. Uh, I'll give it a try and let you know my thoughts at the end of the video. Clap. Okay, so we'll start by opening up the big box. Sorry, thumbs in the way. Da, 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 da. Okay. So as I said, this is the starter kit. So there's uh, 120 pounds worth of free gear. Although it is more expensive for the whole thing. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure how free the gear actually is. So, so just so you know, uh, as I start to unbox this, uh, this is the, the brand is Spit. But um, yeah, I just saw the Passload logo and I thought to make it clear, this is part of the Passload family. So there's a whole bunch of uh, Passload um, nailers, all sorts. People call them nail guns. They're not nail guns, they're nailers. So we already have a bunch of Passload tools. Um, really impressed with them, which is another reason why I wanted to give this a try. Okay, so in here we've got the uh, spit pass load cleaning kit. We can use this on all of our uh, all of our nailers, so that'll be useful. Um, quite important to make sure it keeps clean, so you don't get any kind of jamming of the nails. So in here we have a mystery box. So I think I can guess what's in here, looking at something sticking out, yeah. So in here, we have a whole bunch of different accessories for you to try. So these are for use with a nailer uh, to put cable ties on. Now obviously plastic, so uh, they're for more for sort of external use or decorative, but don't meet 18th edition fire regulations. So just bear that in mind when choosing your accessories. Then we've got a bunch of D-line clips in red if they're being used for fire cable. Some other kind of uh, cable clips. Oh, and these other D-line clips. So again, all can be used with the nailer. Obviously these can be purchased separately, but I just thought it'd be good Get the starter kit and try these out. Mini magnetic nose pieces. Again, have to have a look what those are. Something to do with magnets and holding the brackets, I'm guessing. So there's the gas there, I'm guessing under here. Ah, yes, so all the different types of fixings. So I'll get these out for now and then we can have a look at them later. So now the different colours represent uh, some of the different strengths of the pins. So whether you're firing into metal, concrete, um, 
So again, we'll have a look at these. The Spit 27E, the 27 is the maximum length of uh, nails that you can fit into the nailer. Um, and the E stands for, yep, you guessed it, electrician. It's specifically designed for use in the electrical industry. And then one of the things I liked on the review was these uh, screws. So they get nailed in and you can nail them into wood, but then you can actually retrieve them like a screw. If, you, if you've got accessories that you want to be taking on and off, you can use these instead. The sp spit speciality compared with the pass load family is it's specifically designed for nailing into harder materials. So hard brick, concrete, and even metal. So I've seen on the eFix video, uh, nailing directly into metal. So that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the specific uses um, that I want to try out. Okay, so it tells you, uh, just like a box of chocolates. Okay, so close that up and we'll move on. The last thing in the box is this nice big chunky case and inside hopefully is the nailer itself oh sorry doggy sorry okay so look at this bad boy so we've actually got it's a different type of battery to what we've got um which i suppose is uh yeah it's always a pain when they change it, but there's not much you can do. Uh, so it clips in nice and easy. As a, looks like it's got a halfway point as well. And that looks like, although it's out, it's still retained and you have to clip it down again to get it out. So that's really good. That's a nice feature. Uh, the batteries do tend, tend to last ages in these. Got the nailer itself with its uh, curved uh, what would you, what's the word for this? The magazine. This is the, the magazine. So, um, nice bit of rubber. Let's pick it up, feel the weight. Okay. So yeah, it's actually slightly heavier than I thought. It's lighter than the last version. Um, yeah. Nice, uh, nice feel. Little battery charger. Like I say, I've already seen the gas. And when you buy the fixings for it, you always get another a new gas in the fixings. So you don't have to buy them separately. And from my experience, the gas always lasts at least as long as your box of fixings. So that's good. So yeah, so that's the unboxing. So the next thing I'll do is get the battery charged up, slap a gas in, and we'll uh, give it a try on some materials. Okay, so what I thought I'd do now is shoot some nails. Uh, I've got some big bit of concrete and some bricks that actually came off our house when we were building it, um, when we were converting it. So I thought we'd uh, shoot some nails into, we've got some reinforced concrete, some bricks, some very old wood. So I thought we'd uh, shoot the nails into that, see how it got on, um, use this as a bit of a test bed, and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So before we start, I can see the YouTube comments going already. We've got the gloves, got my over goggles, because I wear glasses. I've got some proper safety glasses as well, but they're in the van. Ear protection, very important. Uh, shoes, so yeah, I'll be all ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna try not to shout because I've got my ear protection on. And I'm gonna try and do it one-handed as well. So, I've already loaded the, uh, the orange nails into there.
gas canister obviously I've pre-charged the battery so we'll start with these bricks so interestingly I don't know if you can see here but you've got a, a point at the bottom so when you push that in and let that point touch the bottom you know you're flush you're vertical to the wall not very easy it is to see that so obviously if you're not vertical pointing down then uh, the pin will be at an angle we push the bottom in to the touch of the wall you know you're vertical so then you can just focus on getting the nail straight in this orientation just by pressing it on the wall what about wood so we've got some oak beams that we've got here see that works perfectly what about the concrete hopefully you can see that okay wonderful so this is what it's designed for really things like concrete and steel okay so next I'm going to give these pins a go excuse me I'm going to give these pins a go that fire into wood that can be removed these are specifically designed for wood here's the, here we go I've done about three of those all together and if I get my trusty driver those can be removed screwed back in so maybe temporary installations this might be an option so you've got temporary and you're screwing into or nailing into wood wasn't using the right size bit so what I've done here what you get with the kit is one of these little magnet bits or magnetic bits um, so you can hold your fittings on there with a magnet so so that would look something like this There you go. Now let's see how well that's fixed on. So. That is fixed on quite well. You've got a claw hammer in there, I think you can get it out eventually, but it ain't going to drop out on its own. That's fixed really nicely. okay so this is my steel test uh, it's actually a leftover cut off of a catnick lintel um, that we're not going to use catnick lintel it's fairly thick steel um, let's see if it works look at that absolutely no problem whatsoever um, so we've got a thicker section here that's welded Two pieces welded together 
into position. Again, absolutely no problem. It does that so well. So if you've got any kind of steel that you want to connect it to, it's not going to be an issue at all. If you look, it's actually firing straight the way through. Two pieces of steel section there. There's down there as well. Very good. Very, very powerful. And that was a knot coming out. So a couple of points I want to make on this. Firstly, obviously, these things are really dangerous. Always make sure you use your safety precautions, ear protection, eye protection. So another thing I wanted to mention, I know what, looking at the comments on the eFix video, there were quite a few people who said proper electricians don't use tools like this. Um, there was some discussion over the uh, the installation, not, you know, not being able to be adjusted if somebody wants to make changes. This isn't to be used all the time. It's to be used in very specific situations. The various projects, like I say, that we're working on, where this will lend itself. But um, yeah, you also can't be too dismissive of new technologies. That's what I believe. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop some comments in if, uh, if you don't agree, if you think this should never be used. Um, maybe you've tried it yourself. Let me know what you think. I hope the video was useful. If it was, give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. Subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications of our future videos on electric vehicle charging, EV chargers. We're doing a lot on solar and battery at the moment as well. Make sure you check us out in our other social media. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching.